are going to be made tonight. We want to see how well they bounce back. Here is Sage Thompson, freshman from nearby Lehigh, Utah, about a 30-minute drive from campus in the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. Second to compete on bars, following a 9.825 from Morgan. Super excited to see Sage tonight. She is the two-time national champion on this event. And you can see just tons of difficulty. We've already seen three releases. That's one more than most athletes choose to do. Get ready for a big dismount. Nice double lay. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on to that. For Abby Paulson. She'll be followed by McCollum, Issa, and O'Keefe. Oh, that lineup is just unbelievable. These guys had such a strong lineup without even adding their freshman class in. Beautiful Maloney right into the pack. Switch Kip. She has a very difficult dismount here. She goes giant full into the full in. Oh, just the double back tonight. Wow, great landing. The best beam score for BYU to this point. Now, a little bit of a shocker here. McCollum took a fall on the uneven bars, 9.325. So Crystal Issa now for the Red Rocks to try and restore order and help the Utes finish with another 49-plus score. Such a good routine so far. I love how Crystal does straight body handstands. She does not do the straddle. So hard to do. Oh, really holds on to that giant fall into the double A standings here tonight. Crystal Issa with a 9875, which is the best score thus far for Utah. And she is followed by Miley O'Keefe. A little bit of pressure here on Miley. She does want to make sure she hits the set so they can drop that low score. Beautiful handstand. Nice Maloney right into the pack does such a good job of doing her pirouettes directly in the handstand. The judges are looking for them to be within 10 degrees of vertical. Huge double Arabian. Another just very, 